Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using Clapeyron's theorem of three moments. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 24 kN. It is acting in the center. In the span BC also, there is a point load 12 kN. It is also acting in the center. The moment of inertia for the span AB is I. For the span BC, it is 2I. Length of the span AB is 10 meter. Length of the span BC also is 10 meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the points B and C, there are hinged supports. The support in the point B sinks by 10 mm. The support in the point C sinks by 6 mm. The Young's modulus E is given as 12 kN per millimeter square and the moment of inertia is given as 125 in the 10 power 7 millimeter power 4 the moment of inertia i is given in millimeter power 4 so we have to convert it into meter power 4 we know that 1 millimeter is 1 upon 1000 meter but here we have power 4 so we have to divide this value by 1000 power 4 finally we are getting the moment of inertia in meter power 4 the Young's modulus E is given as 12 kN per millimeter square we have to convert this value into kN per meter square here we have mm square so we have to divide by 1000 square when we do that we are getting in kN per meter square for our own convenience let us multiply the moment of inertia and Young's modulus when we do that we are getting 15000 kN meter square the settlement at B is given as 10 millimeter let us divide 10 by 1000 so that we will get 0 0.01 meter in the same way let us convert the settlement at C when we divide 6 by 1000 we will get 0 0.006 meter in this beam we have to find two moments MA and MB. To find these two moments, we need two equations. Using two spans, we can make one equation. Using the spans AB and BC, we can make one equation, but we need two. So, we have to make an imaginary span on the left of fixed end A. You can see that I have made an imaginary span A0A A, having the span of L0. Now let us take the imaginary span A0A A, and the span AB and make the first equation. Now let us find the ordinate for the span AB. In the span AB there is a point load 24 kN. This point load is acting in the center. The formula to find the maximum bending moment is WL upon 4. Here W is 24, L is 10. When we apply the values inside the formula, we are getting 60. Using that, we can make this diagram. Now let us apply the theorem of three moments in spans A0A A and AB. In this equation, since the support B is sinking, 
we have to additionally add these two terms. Now let us find area 1. This is a triangle. We know the formula for the area of a triangle. Half into breadth into height. Here the breadth is 10. The height is 60. After calculation, we are getting area 1 as 300. Now, let us find x bar right. This is a symmetrical diagram. The centroid lies in the center. When we divide the length 10 by 2, we will get x bar right, which is equal to 5 meter. We know that in this analysis, the support B sinks by 0 0.01 meter. Now let us find HA0 and HB. HA0 will be 0 because the support A0 is an imaginary one. To find HB, we have to keep the middle support as a reference. Here the middle support is in the point A. So, we have to keep the point A as a reference. Now, let us find HB. The support B is lower than the support A by 0 0.01 meter. So, HB is minus 0 0.01 meter. Here, we are applying a negative sign because this support is lower than the support A. In this equation, this term, this term, this term and this term will be 0 because these are for the imaginary span A0A. Let us apply other values. L1 is 10, I1 is I. We have already calculated area 1 x bar right HB. Let us apply all of the values. After the simplification, we are getting this. Let us multiply this equation by i on both of the sides. When we do that, this i, this i and this i will be eliminated. Here we will have ei. Here let us apply the value of ei, 15,000 kN meter square. After the simplifications, we are making the first equation. Now, let us take the spans AB and BC and form the second equation. We have already calculated the ordinate for AB. Now, let us find the ordinate for the span BC. Here also, a point load is acting in the center. So, we have to apply the same formula, WL upon 4. Here, W is 12, L is 10. When we apply the values, we are getting 30. Using that, we can make this diagram. Now, let us apply the theorem of three moments in spans AB and BC. We have already calculated area 1 in the previous step. Now let us find x bar left. This is a symmetrical diagram. So the centroid lies in the center. When we divide the length by 2, we will get x bar left which is equal to 5 meter. Now let us find area 2. This is also a triangle. We know the formula for the area of a triangle. Half into breadth into height. Here the breadth is 10, height is 30. When we apply the values, we are getting 150. Now let us find x bar right. This is also a symmetrical diagram. So the centroid lies in the center. When we divide the length by 2, we will get x bar right. We know that in this problem, the support B sinks by 0 0.01 meter and the support C sinks by 0 0.006 meter. 
Now we are going to find HA and HC. We know that to find HA and HC, we have to keep the middle support as a reference. Here support B is the middle support. So we have to keep the reference in the support B. Let us see the support A from the support B. The support A is higher than the support B by 0 0.01 meter. So HA is 0 0.01 meter. Since the support A is higher than the support B, this value should be positive. To find HC, we have to find the difference of level between the supports B and C. For that, we have to subtract this value by this value. When we do that, we are getting 0 0.004 meter. So 0 0.004 is the difference of level between the supports C and B. Since the support C is higher than the support B, this value should be positive. In this equation, let us apply the values L1 is 10, L2 is 10, I1 is I, I2 is 2I. Also, we can apply these values. In the point C, there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. So, MC will be 0. In this equation, let us multiply by I on both of the sides. When we do that, this I, this I, this I and this I will be eliminated. Here and here, we will have I. Here and here, let us apply the value of EI. After the simplifications, we are making the second equation. We have two equations. Now let us use the calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of MA and MB. For MA, I have got minus 39.42 kilonewton meter. For MB, I have got minus 20.16 kilonewton meter. Now we are going to find the reactions. First, let us take the span AB and find the reactions. In the span AB, MA will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction and MP will be acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about B, we can find out RA. Then we can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find out RB1. Now let us take the span BC and find the vertical reactions. In the span BC, we have a movement MB which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. By taking movement about to C, we can find RB2. By applying the rule, sigma V is equal to 0, we can find out RC. In the point B, we have calculated RB two times. Let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Now using the loads and reactions, we can make the shear force diagram. Now let us make the free movement diagram. For that we have to assume every span as a separate simply supported beam. Then we can use these formulas and draw these diagrams. Then using the end moments, we can make end moment diagram. Then we can combine both of the diagrams 
so that we will get the bending moment diagram now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video